What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Dusty, the Airstream Trailer Renovation Restoration. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about the installation of the shell back onto the frame. Now, I'm not gonna lie everyone, the entire time I thought about this entire renovation restoration, the biggest fear I had was actually gonna be installing the shell back onto the frame. I had a lot of questions going through my head like, how do I know it's going to be aligned properly? How do I know one side's not going to be leaning more than the other? How do I know it's going to be level and perfect? And I did a lot of thought process up into this point. And so I figured I'd take the moment to share a lot of the thought process and how I got it back to align exactly where it needs to be. Now, when I started to remove the actual shell from the frame, the idea was I was going to replace every C channel along both sides of the actual trailer of Dusty. And then if need be, I would think about replacing the front rounded pieces. After in the, the inspection of the breakdown, I realized that the front rounded pieces didn't really need to be replaced, as well as the actual C channel really didn't have a lot of issues in it. But I figured since I was already there taking it apart, I might as well replace at least the side pieces, which is exactly what I did. Now what really helped me out was just leaving the front end cap uh, round piece in and then removing the back end and using that as a template to trace for my subfloor, which worked out really, really good. From that point, leaving the front end on gave me perfect alignment. And when I went to go put the back end on, basically all I was doing was aligning the already original um, Clico holes, or I should say rivet holes. And I actually made some lines with a marker originally, which you can see here, obviously right here and then towards the back end. Now, for me, those markers really helped to align it and to make sure that I was right on the proper holes. Obviously with the new C channel, I'm going to have to drill all new holes and we'll talk a little bit about that once I get to the outside. But for the most part, everything aligned absolutely perfect uh, by doing it. The only issue I actually really had, and I'll show you once we get to the outside, was in this center piece right here, I was actually having some issues getting the actual outside exterior panel to line up to this C channel. And what I mean by is the bottom of this panel was only just barely coming down to the bottom right here. The front and back align, it was just the center that was kind of sitting up high. And what I ended up doing was going and getting some tie down straps, some of the bigger ones, and just going from outrigger to outrigger, which I'll show you here in just a second, and basically just bringing that down on both sides, which you can see it goes from one end to the other all the way from the top. And when I did that, I was able to adjust it exactly perfect. And this thing is completely sitting exactly where it needs to be. All I need to do is actually rivet it to the frame itself. You can see all the pole jacks. None of them are currently installed here. They are completely all removed, which means this is perfectly sitting exactly where it needs to be. And all we have to do is go on the outside, add some rivets to this thing. And this entire frame and shell is back to where it needs to be. And we are starting to really move along in this. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the outside. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in the process of actually putting the shell back onto the frame properly through the riveting process. There's a tool that I like to use that I got over at airpartsinc.com and that tool will help you give the exact precise measurement of your rivets of where they need to be drilled prior to the actual installation of those rivets. So let's go ahead and head outside and let's get this work started guys and let's wrap this video up and get Dusty's shell back onto the frame. What do you guys say? Here we go, let's do it. So guys, when we're talking about the back, you can see I've already got it all clicked in place, both sides. That's the trim pieces as well as the main rivets to the C-channel. This is exactly how I just put this hook in, went straight to the top and ratcheted it to the other side, as well as right here. Same thing. And now you can see where the width of this is perfect all the way down right at the half line point which is right where you want to be and now all we need to do is start drilling the proper holes for this the way we do that 
is through this tool right here that I got at airpartsinc.com. I already got the exact measurement where I need to be. And so we would just basically go here. And the idea behind this is I will drill one hole to one side, put a Cleco in it, same to the other, and then I can actually go in and drill all the proper holes. Then we'll move it down line. And from there, we'll have all the proper distancing that we need on the rivets. And then we'll go in and start our marriage communication 101 one last time to do the last of the riveting that needs to be done. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and switch this over to a quick time lapse. You can watch me just kind of drill these holes out real quickly, get all the clicos in place ahead of when we're ready to actually start riveting, which will be later this afternoon. So here we go. Let's get this thing started. And just like that guys, Dusty's shell has officially been riveted back onto the frame. No more pole jacks needed, no more wood on the inside, and no more Danny banging his head every time he comes in here, which is a good thing. Uh, with that, some of the things that uh, I was pretty excited about, I will tell you first and foremost, this was probably the biggest part of the job I was not looking forward to. I was actually pretty intimidated by it. And when it's all said and done, believe it or not, it was probably the easiest project I've done so far. Maybe it's just because I got lucky and took all the extra necessary time that I thought was needed to make sure that everything was aligned prior to taking it off so that when I did reinstall it, everything would just line up the way it's supposed to. And that's exactly what happened. And I'm pretty excited about that. Now that we have the show officially riveted onto the frame, we're going to call this video a wrap and uh, head over to the next video, which is going to be removing all the exterior pieces on the outside, like the lights 
and everything and get ready to start uh, polishing the exterior, removing uh, pretty much the majority of the window frames, resealing those and installing those back on. But uh, that's where we're headed, guys. If you haven't already, go down, hit the subscribe button to this channel, give this video a like, share it with your family and friends, and until next time, as is always, this is Danny, signing out.